Good evening, everyone. Police are looking for the owner of two reportedly aggressive pit bulls. One of those was shot and killed by a Wichita officer. Last night, police and animal control called to the report of two vicious dogs near 21st and Grove. When they arrived, one of the dogs tried to bite the animal control worker. The officer tried to distract the dogs and wound up being their next target. He used his baton and tried to fend off the dogs. Uh, this worked until one of them came around to the side and started aggressively toward the officer. The officer then shot with his service weapon, uh, shot and killed that dog on scene. The other dog was caught and taken to animal control. This all happened near a neighborhood park and a popular bike trail. Kicks Ben Jordan spoke with neighbors about how this vicious attack is part of a growing problem. That's new tonight at 10. Jamel, people who live across from Dr. Glenn Day Park tell me they often run into stray dogs, but this most recent issue is most alarming. It was probably a couple nights ago. I was coming up Grove Street from 21st Street, and I did see two large dogs pass behind my vehicle as we passed the street that they were intersecting from. Kelly Bird was driving home when dogs started chasing her car. She's thankful she wasn't walking in the park across the street. Yeah, they were quite intimidating looking. After hearing about the pit bulls that attacked animal control the next day, she's pretty sure it was the same dogs. Bird says it's scary to think what could have happened if animal control wasn't called and police hadn't stepped in. There's children that go over to the park and play, and even an adult. What I mean, I would be totally intimidated if a dog walked up on me like that, and I sure wouldn't want to get hurt from one. Other neighbors say stray dogs are a problem in this area and have been for years. Some even tell me dogs are often dropped off and abandoned at the park. At least once a week you see a stray dog around this area. So usually, you know, they're, they'll run off or something like that. But to do someone that aggressive is really scary. John Foss enjoys playing basketball and likes to take his young son for walks along the trail. After hearing about the pit bulls, it makes him think twice. It, it makes me worry. It makes, it makes you think about dog safety and animal safety, you know. Both Foss and Bird think police did the right thing by killing a dangerous dog. They just hope they don't have to run into one anytime soon. Of course, if it's between me and the dog, the dog has to go. I'm sorry. And as Jamel mentioned, police are looking for the owners of those pit bulls. If you know of their whereabouts, you're asked to call police or animal control at 316-350-3360. Thank you, Ben. Cake News is on your side with tips on what to do if you run into an aggressive dog. The Humane Society of the United States says remain motionless and quiet, hands at your sides, and avoid eye contact with the dog. Once the dog loses interest in you, slowly back away until he is out of sight. Make sure you back away until out of sight. Also, if the dog does attack, feed it. Your jacket, purse, or bicycle, anything that you can put between yourself and the dog. And if you fall or are knocked to the ground, curl into a ball with your hands over your ears and be still.